Hi, Chris from ePianos here. I'm going to show you today how to save your favorite settings on the Yamaha Clavinova CVP 809. You may have made a uh, combination of sounds or spent ages setting up the piano and you want to save it on there. So next time you turn the piano on, you can load it up with the press of a button. It's very simple to do if you know how. Come over to the piano. I'm going to show you how to do it. Make sure you're signed up to receive our weekly newsletter emails with tips like this and news and special offers, events, etc. Also check out our huge selection of pre-owned pianos on our website and new pianos too. So from the main screen here, what we'll say is I am going to make a combination of sounds, uh, a main voice and a layer voice. So um, the main voice, I'm going to choose the lovely Bosendorfer. And as my layer voice, I'm going to choose the boys choir there because it's a lovely combination. And I can also change the balance as well if I want to. Uh, if I find it's too low, I can turn it up here. preferred it a little bit lower than that so I'll bring it down to about 70 I'd say. Now if I want to save that in effect take a snapshot of how I've got the piano set up and save it on the piano so next time I go to turn it on it will remain on there and I can load it up with a touch of a button then we use this section here called registration memory. Um, the reason there are eight buttons is because I can actually load actually save eight variations in one bank of eight and you can save multiple banks of eight almost unlimited amount of banks but for this one I'm just going to use a single button button number one here so to take a snapshot and save it how I've got it set up here this is how we do it memory button just here I'm going to press this and then within three seconds afterwards I'm going to press button number one it will flash red like that this is now saved in there provisionally um, to save it permanently, we have to go through some other steps. But the reason this is only provisionally saved is because it's assuming you want to save more and you want to fiddle around and save a whole bank. But if you just want to save a single sound, do it like that. If we want to go further and now save it permanently on the piano, uh, this is how we do it. Press Regist Bank plus and minus together. This is the easiest way, like that. Um, now, I always recommend... Uh, if you see that arrow just there, by the way, just press it. Keep pressing it until it disappears. Because eventually you'll come back to this page where you'll see user here and possibly USB 1 if you've got a stick plugged in there. Uh, user is the place you want to go into. And to save your settings, it's this little symbol here, uh, which I presume is an arrow pointing down to a hard disk of some sort. But this means save. So we press that. It then says, where do you want to save it? I can move to a different folder if I want or go into one of the existing folders, but I just want to save it in this uh, um, directory here. So press save. Uh, I'm going to give it a name. I've already typed in the name there for it, but if I wanted to, I could delete it and say, uh, nice piano uh, with... choir and press OK. So that has now saved it on there. If I turn the piano off and back on again, turn the piano off, turn the piano back on again, so on it comes and from the home screen the way to get to our settings from last time is to go here, press Regist Bank plus and minus together, go to, um, if you're not already there, Press the arrow at the top until it disappears and then press user. And in here, we will find nice piano with choir. And when we press that, it'll highlight orange and it will load up this single button here. Now, I need to press that to have it loaded into the keys. Now we'll have... piano and choir sound that I saved. 
and you can repeat that, you can alter it, you can save it again, override it, save multiple variations of it, save additional banks, the memory in here is enormous. So overall, pretty easy to save your settings on the Clavinova CVP-809. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope that was useful for you. It's easy when you know how, isn't it? See you next time.